Welcome back to Aussie Med Tutes. First off, I think it's really cool that people are starting to think about doing medicine and the experiences that they might need before even completing or even starting their undergraduate degree. That's really impressive. I didn't start thinking about doing medicine until after my undergraduate degree. And I know some people that have even done a full professional career before coming to medicine. So this is gonna be a video about my experiences doing a science degree. I have to first off say I didn't do my science degree at Sydney. I didn't do medical science. I did a Bachelor of Science majoring in biochemistry and molecular biology at the University of Melbourne. Additionally, this video is going to be on what I would have liked to do differently, knowing what I know now. So with the University of Melbourne undergraduate degree in science or bachelor degree in science, you get to pick basically whatever subjects you want, free range. In fact, there's even one subject that you're expected to pick something that's unrelated to your science interests. This is called a breadth subject. So you have three core subjects that you pick per semester and one breadth subject, and you have two semesters a year. So although I majored in biochemistry and molecular biology, I picked breadth subjects such as Japanese 101, critical thinking with data, human longevity, biotechnology. Biotechnology was really almost a how to invest in biotech stocks class. But uh, yeah, basically breadth subjects were something a little aside from your science subject. And I guess the idea of that was that you would have skills outside of just the core sciences in case you decided you want to try something different and also to set you apart when you are applying for jobs in the future. The first year subjects that I took in relation to my science degree were pretty generic. I picked biology, chemistry and physics, but these did set me up as really good prerequisites to do basically whatever I wanted to do in second and third year. This is great because I seem to change my mind on exactly what it is that I want to do every couple of years. When I got into university, I wanted to be into neuropsychology and then neuroscience, then genetics. And then by final year, I decided, yeah, biochemistry is what I want to major in. And look, now I've switched from science to medicine. These subjects are really good also because when you get to the GAMSAT, which is the test to get into medicine, there's a section on science and they expect a basic level of understanding equivalent to somebody that's done first year science at university. The subjects being biology, chemistry, physics, and I guess math is also kind of useful, but you kind of only need a high school level math if that. That said, you don't have to have done this. There are people that apply to medicine straight out of high school. They do take a slightly different test, but I do believe that you can do the GAMSAT without having a strong science knowledge. You do have to do more study and preparation and uh, having done physics, biology and chemistry and understanding it well in university just makes it so much easier. Furthermore, Physics comes up a surprising amount in medicine. For instance, understanding respiratory sciences, understanding the flow of blood in the body, all this stuff has little physics elements. I know before I started medicine, people thought that physics was one of the least useful things for medicine. Turns out it does come up. Now, what would I change knowing what I know now? Now, Melbourne University does actually have a Bachelor of Biomedicine degree, which better prepares you for medicine because it's a lot more related material. In fact, I've heard people say that they've seen lectures that are identical between doing that bachelor and being in medicine. However, I didn't have high enough grades to get into it. That being said, when people now ask me or I think about whether or not I would like to do a Bachelor of Biomed if I had the chance to go back and change things, I still think I would pick science. This is for two reasons. First of all, yes, obviously I'm biased. I did science and I was pretty happy with it. But think about it this way. Bachelor of Biomedicine is quite competitive. Most of the people in that want to get into medicine and so they're all striving to get higher grades. In addition to that, the classes are harder, so it's harder to get higher grades. If you're at a university that scores you compared to other students, averages things out, if everyone's working really hard and doing better than you, then your score is going to be comparatively lower and your GPA is going to be lower. Guess what GPA is important for? Applying to medicine. So if you were to do a science degree, you'd be able to get a much higher GPA easier, still be able to do a lot of the relevant subjects and in turn get a better chance of getting into your degree in medicine. This maybe seems a bit counterintuitive because biomed is actually more relevant to a medical degree. However, when you apply to medicine, they don't really care too much what degree you did. Some universities require you to have done science or biomed. A lot of universities just don't care. My second reason is actually a lot more wholesome though. The second reason is that in biomed, you're kind of restricted in the subjects you're allowed to do. This is good because it's all much more relevant to medicine. So once you do get into medicine, you know a lot of the stuff and it becomes a lot easier your first couple of years I'm sure but the downside is that you are locked into those subjects during your biomed degree whereas in science you get to select a lot of your own subjects so if like me after first year you decided oh actually I'm feeling really interested in doing this now you can actually switch and start pursuing that other pathway and vice versa I believe that undergrad is kind of a chance to find yourself find what you're interested in 
no longer having teachers say you have to do this for homework, you have to do these subjects, chance to explore yourself. So I think it's quite risky to lock yourself into a degree that doesn't give you much freedom to change your mind or freedom of choice. Furthermore, like I mentioned earlier, I know people that have come into medicine after doing a professional career for many years. This could be the opposite thing for somebody that's locked themselves into medicine. You could be doing a medical degree, then do your actual MD, then get into medicine, two years in realize, oh, this isn't for me. All of a sudden you're 11 years in with a huge debt because med degrees aren't that cheap and now you've changed your mind and you think you might want to do something else. Might feel pressured into staying in medicine for the wrong reasons, which can have really deleterious effects on your mental and physical health. Or you might switch out and just have to cope with having a big debt. Additionally, the knowledge that you get in med is limited mostly to med in my opinion, whereas to do a science degree, you can have knowledge that you can then take forward into medicine or you can take forward into other areas of science. So that explains what I would do if I had the choice. I would pretty much do the same thing again, except there are a couple things that I would like to change. Like I said, I did all those core sciences and then I did genetics and then I did biochemistry. I think it would have been really intelligent to have covered anatomy and physiology as subjects in second or third year, probably second year. And that's because these become really important in medicine. It's a lot of rote learning. So if you get on top of it a little earlier, that makes things easier. But additionally, I think they're just actually really useful subjects for people that are doing any sort of science degree to understand the human body. Because like I said, change your mind based on what you want to do. It's good to have some breadth in your subject matter. Now, just quickly a bit about what day-to-day -day life is like in a science degree. I found it kind of similar to what it's like in med so if you've seen my explanations of that not too much change you have lectures which you go to in a lecture theater with hundreds of other students potentially and you get talked to by a lecturer cool you've also got tutorials which are a bit more like high school classroom learning they're smaller sizes you go in there's questions you can do q a with the teachers you also have practicals most weeks at least in first year you'll have practical for most subjects if you did what i did and those can be two hours long you go to a lab and what they're on really differs based on the subject in physics I did things like measuring acceleration of things dropping through a tube. You had to plot stuff in biology. You've got your typical dissections of heart and that. Lots of microscopy, etc., etc. Most subjects in your science degree will have a mid-semester test and then they'll have a final test at the end of the semester, which accounts for most of your grade. This is where med and science differ a bit. In medicine, you've got three big tests over the course of the whole year, which have a little more weight to each of them. Most science subjects will also give you assignment at some point throughout the semester, if not multiple. These tend to be things like research a subject and tell me about it. And then throughout the years, it matures into more of a write a research paper on this subject. A weak research paper though, not something that would ever get published. So this goes back to my earlier point about doing anatomy and physiology. They can be prerequisite subjects at some universities. So University of Melbourne, for instance, crams all their theory into just the first year, as opposed to most medical universities that do it over two years. This is because they expect you to already have done anatomy and physiology. So if you wanna keep your options open you want to be able to do a medical degree basically anywhere, but you also just in case want to be able to switch into something else. You can do a science degree, make sure you cover anatomy and physiology, and then you're set. That's it for this video. Sorry that I couldn't tell you a bit more about a Bachelor of Biomedicine. Like I said, I didn't do that degree, unfortunately. Please be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video.